Hello and welcome to top 10 features of Pathwave ADS 2021. In this video series, we are looking at all the new and great enhancements done in the latest ADS release. This video is on easy batch simulation setup for DDR memory design using memory designer tool inside ADS. With the new enhancements done, it's very easy for users to create a batch simulation setup either using the list mode or the sweep mode. You will find dramatic improvements on simulation usability, especially if you want to run a bunch of overnight batch simulation runs. And with the new enhancements done, users don't need to even manually create the sweep file or the CSV file for batch simulation. It all will be done automatically by ADS and users have a choice to perform various kind of batch simulation combination. So let me show you how easy it is to set it up in the latest ADS release. So here on my ADS side, I do have an end-to-end -end memory channel set up using the memory designer components, starting from the IBIS model of a controller, going up to the DRAM, the motherboard, the DIMM board, and a connector in between. So I have the right data for each of these blocks. The connector has the S parameter data, and for DIM board and motherboard, we have run a post layout SI extraction using SI Pro tool inside ADS. Now, when we have this setup and we want to perform a normal simulation, I do have a memory probe here. Under memory probe, I can select what measurements I would like to see for each of these nodes or the nets I have here. And for all of these nodes, you can see I've selected a bunch of measurements to be performed. Now for explore my design and look at the corner cases, I need to perform a batch simulation. Now how to set up a batch simulation? Here on the controller, for example, I have included an IBIS file and activated a byte lane of data from DQ40 to DQ47 along with a DQS channel for simulation. Once I activate the right pins to be simulated, I can then go to model setup and you can see each of these pins are available. Now, if you as a user you want, you can do selections like IBIS model selector or IBIS corner by going through each of these data lines or using the new capability in the latest ADS release, I can select all of them and I can create a new group so that I can do a single setting which gets applied to all of these data lanes. Now, once I create a group, let me call this as controller IBIS model and then I can give whatever description I want for this group and it appears here on the bottom left side and once you click on the group name ADS shows you what all signal or pins are associated with that particular group. Now all the settings which I was doing individually I can do that on a group level here. Now not only you can change things uh, like in a static manner for every item here I can create a variable name. For example here I can call it controller underscore ODT. Now once I declare a variable, it will get picked up by the memory designer setup. So let me show you how. So I already created one variable here uh, for the controller. And similarly for memory, I already had a group here called DRAM ODT sweep. And you can see there is a variable name, which was already done. So now I have two variable in my design. If you need, if you are working on a pre layout channel, you may have a bunch of transmission lines or like I showed in the last video, if you have a parametric VR model or VR array model, you can have parameters associated with that components and you can use this normal VAR component of ADS to declare whatever variables you need for those kind of components. Now, once all the variable assignments are done, I can go to memory designer setup and now you will see a new tab here called batch simulation setup. All the variables are activated and you have a choice to run it in a list mode kind of sweep or you can go to sweep mode and set some start value, stop value and the step value to run various combination. Now because IBIS models or the termination components, I have a specific list, a discrete list. I can enable that particular variable for sweep. Like in this case, let me enable these two variables. And once I enable one variable, if I click on the value list, it picks up the values from the, depending upon where I have specified. So it picks up the data from the model. And in this case, I would like to enable 40 ohm 
48 ohm and 60 ohm and I can add all of these things here in the list. So setting for one parameter is done. Similarly, for the second group, I would like to pick 40. I would like to pick 48, for example, and then maybe 120, and you can create your own combination. So once you are in a list mode, uh, size of both of these arrays should be same. Once you are done, you can create a new batch simulation CSV file. You can type in any name you want here. And you can click on this icon called Generate Batch Simulation Setup. And once you're done, it's done. And you can see there is a new batch controller on the schematic. And you can place this batch simulation controller uh, to the desired place. And now if I double click on this batch controller, you can see CSV list under sweep module has been automatically activated. And a new CSV file got created. And if you click on edit, it will open up the document and it shows you the CSV file for controller ODT setting as well as DRAM ODT sweep. And you can see the combination based on the list selection we did. And now we can just go ahead and run the simulation. At the end of simulation, you will have some data and you can prepare your data display like you can see here. Uh, it's already run um, on one of the test pitches. And here I have five batch setting. And by changing various batch runs, I can observe the I diagram and the related performance metrics, which I selected in the memory probe uh, uh, for the measurements which we need to perform. So it is so simple to set up very complex batch simulations with great ease. Do it either pin wise or group wise. So it makes designers life much, much simpler compared to the previous releases which you have been using. So hopefully this will motivate you to start using Memory Designer in the latest ADS release for all your DDR simulation setup, whether it is pre-layout, post-layout, or a combination of both. All of those users will get benefited with this enhancements. Thanks a lot for watching these top 10 tutorial videos. Hope you like the content presented and a lot of them will be useful for your work. Thanks for your attention.